Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, so if you hear any type of noise in the background, look close, that's my baby. But um, so I wrote a poem the other day that I just wanted to share with the officers. And this is really just for the officers, okay? And it goes, dear officers, dear officers, yes, the red and the blue. For I am not confused, I know that God appointed you. It's a shame that such bad apples could spoil a few. But I know there are some officers who took an oath to protect and serve me and others too. So dear officers, dear officers, penalize not majority for a few. For I am only talking to those officers with those ears let us sink through. Oh officers, sorry officers, that this world may trouble you. But dear officers, please officers, know that God still appointed you. Okay, so I just wrote that for the officers, right? Because let me tell y'all something. So I was in Wawa not too long ago, right? And, um, you know, I keep seeing stuff about the officers, about defunding the police and stuff like that. So I was in Wawa when all the protesting and stuff started going down, the looting and stuff. And never in my life have I not seen an officer not interacting with the people or somebody in the building. Now, I'm at Wawa, y'all, and there was so many people in Wawa. We already know how Wawa traffic is. So there were so many people in Wawa. And um, I don't know, it just didn't sit right and it didn't feel right to me. So I just walked over to the officer and yes, he was white. What, I'm not supposed to go talk to my white fellow brother because he's a white officer. Anyway, I went over there and um, I said, good morning officer. And I'm soft spoken, so I don't think he heard me. But then I was like, um, it seems like he was in deep thought though. Um, I was like, good morning officer be safe out there and then he was like thank you thank you and um, I'm like no problem so I went back over to wait for my drink you know when you get the frozen stuff you wait for it and he came to me and he tapped me he was like thank you so much thank you so much you stay safe out here you stay safe out here and I was like no problem no problem have a good day so um maybe he just needed a little peace of mind from a civilian to know that not everyone is at war uh, with the officers or war with each other. And I also wanted to give him a sense of reminding that um, and all officers that uh, um, there are people who are still counting on you, such as myself, such as the elderly, such as the children. We have been teaching children their whole lives when they're in trouble, call the officers. What are they to do now when they're in trouble? You got to think about when we shout things and we say things, think of who we are jeopardizing and um, who's around. Uh, we tell children who in trouble, call the officers. Now, what are they to do when they're in trouble, when they are afraid the officer could harm them? Um, we're sending that message worldwide, okay? Uh, it could be for a certain cause to a certain group. But remember, this is, you guys are affecting your society, okay? We need officers. What about my grandma when she needs help? Um, what about the people who are defenseless, who don't want to defend themselves, who uh, are just not violent people, or um, who count on officers to come and protect them as God has appointed them to? See, we have governments and we have uh, officers and stuff like that and justice system for our society to be able to run correctly. Now, remember, every man has a free will. Do not blame God for what a man does. God gives everyone the same rules, okay? We have everyone has the same rules and morals that we have to follow. Well, what man does, well, what with what one man does, do not blame, blame God for mankind. This is the separation between God and mankind, sin, okay? So you cannot blame God for what a man does. He gives us all the same rules. Remind, remember, you guys, we were um, warned and constantly reminded that there is trouble in the world. We are... We were already told that there were trouble in the world, and we are already warned that there will be trouble in the world. But keep your head up high and keep your faith. Now, for you officers, I just want you to remember back. I want you to take the time back and remember why you fell in love or wanted to be an officer um, in the first place. In my opinion, uh, not everybody is driven or wants to be a police officer. There are certain type of people who wants to be a police officer. And I believe those are the people that God appointed to, meaning you have what it takes to protect our world. Um, you don't carry yourself as the other people in your uh, department do, the bad apples I'm talking about. Now, the bad apples, the bad apples uh, we should just call them the man in the uniform. But we're talking to true officers who took it oath to really protect us. 
us. And there are officers who really are still doing their job and genuinely are concerned for our society. Keep reminding yourselves, you guys, when we're screaming defund the police, there are officers who go out there and put their life on the line against the hate and the evil in this world. Let's not forget those brave officers. Just as the soldiers and the warriors, um, when the wars went down, there are brave people who had stood up and fought for the country, each country, all people. So officers are there to do a job that God had pointed them to. When you beef with God's people, meaning the officers uh, that are supposed to do their job and you make them feel some type of way, what does that say about us? They are God's people. Again, I'm not talking about the people who just put the uniform on to be ruthless. I'm talking about the real officers um, who took the oath to protect people. Officer, today, I am telling you, a young black woman, that we need you. My daughter needs you for her future. My grandma needs you. My kids, if I have more, my grandkids need you. Remember, you took an oath. I'm sorry, it's my daughter. Remember, you took an oath. Remember, humanity may count you out, but God counted you in and he's counted on you. You were warned that there were troubles as many other was. You were warned that there were trouble in the world, but you were equipped with the, the mindset and the, the humanity in you to handle all the troubles. That's why you were there, okay? You guys, I don't want them to defund the police. I just want them to do thorough investigations and properly do their jobs and get the bad apples out. That's all we need. It's not defund the police. It's just get the bad, bad apples out. When we say defund the police, we're putting out into the community to criminals, real criminals, that uh, do what you want, okay? When real criminals are out there and they see that the police doesn't care about the society, what do we think the criminals are going to do, you guys? Think before we speak. To you officers, if you need to hear that poem again, please rewind it back. I love you, my brother and sister, black, white, Chinese, whatever you are. Remember, you are appointed. You were called to do that because you were prepared. God has put you there. We're talking about true officers who took the real oath to protect our society. I encourage you to keep moving. And you guys, vengeance is not truly ours. Um, it is always going to be the Lord's. No matter how much we get tired of... Um, the society and everybody's just wilding out when sin becomes too great it is on the lord's time when he do stuff you know what i mean so uh let's just live our lives day by day and continue to support your like-minded brothers and sisters and have compassion and pray for those who may be struggling one foot in and front out the door and just uh stay on your toes for the ones who are completely oppositional okay i love you everybody stay fierce and fearless uh, I pray for you officers to still stay appointed because you are appointed and you have a job to do. Uh, stay fierce and fearless, you guys. Find God today, and I hope he's looking for you. Have a great day, you guys. I love you.